I'm finding across the country that people have been feeling very powerless. Um, and what the founders, whom I went back to, to get inspiration from and also guidance from, they made it clear to me that America is best understood not as a location or even as a system of government, but as a psychological state, as a state of mind. And that's one of determination to be free and to do whatever it takes to um, stand up for the Constitution. So the first thing I would do is, um, you know, encourage citizens, you know, by talking to one another to reclaim that uh, inner sense of commitment to be citizen leaders to stand up for liberty. But then there are 55 practical steps that I offer readers, um, because not enough to just think, oh, I, you know, I'm, I, Jefferson asked me to do this. Uh, you also have to know what to do. How is Give Me Liberty different from the end of America? Well, uh, it's like doom and inspiration, <laughs> basically. Um, you know, the end of America is a very dark warning, and unfortunately everything I predicted last fall has, has come true. So understandably, people who read the end of America asked me, okay, Naomi, we are persuaded, what do we do? Give me liberty is the answer. Do I consider myself to be an activist? I consider myself to be a mom. <laughs> um, I guess by definition, any concerned mother or father is going to be an activist because, you know, what's motivating me is that I have two very precious, beautiful children, and I want them to grow up in an America that's free. What I would like readers to take away from having read Give Me Liberty, I'd like them to take away a sense of just what a huge difference individual Americans can make. And I guess the other things I'd like people to take away is just again these practical steps. How do I fundraise to start an organization? How do I confront my representative more effectively? How do I write this op-ed? How do I, uh, you know, write a law? How do I pass a law? Um, how do I run for Congress? I want every American to know those things. Uh, you know, the last thing I have to say, I'm so proud of this. The Constitution and the Bill of Rights such precious documents. They're pretty hard to understand. Um, for, for anybody who's not a constitutional scholar, they're in this really dense 18th century language. Two wonderful attorneys, Suzanne Telsey and Stephen Bennett, donated their very valuable time to providing uh, readers with a user's guide to the Bill of Rights and the Constitution. Accurate translation into everyday 21st century English so that you actually understand what these documents, what rights they give you, and what responsibilities you have as a citizen.